Last Saturday, hundreds rallied together in Bridgeport Park in support of the Alzheimer's Association's Walk to End Alzheimer's. It is a fundraiser with the intention of using the money they raised to support those suffering with Alzheimer's and to fund research towards methods of prevention, treatment, and maybe one day even a cure to the disease. So we are one of 600 walks in communities around the nation, and the Walk to End Alzheimer's is the largest fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. Before the walk, the event consisted of a ceremony in which the association announced they reached their fundraising goal of a whopping $150,000. They also took the time to honor those who had been lost to Alzheimer's with many raising flowers that represented loved ones through the moment of silence. Soon after, participants began their walk, which was two miles long around the park, each one with their own story to tell about their connection to Alzheimer's and other dementias. Walkers weren't the only ones with a personal connection to the cause. Many volunteers and staff have their own stories to tell as well. My great aunt suffered from Alzheimer's and passed away about 12 years ago. And so it touched my family very personally. But it's also one of those things that these are types of diseases and illnesses that can be cured with the right research and development. Despite Brian's personal loss, he stays both optimistic and determined to help those who have Alzheimer's and their caretakers as well. While the cure has yet to be found, he tells those that are struggling to never give up hope. Keep fighting. Keep fighting every single day. We are getting so close to being able to find a cure, but also to extend your quality of life and just stay strong. We know how difficult this battle is, but we've got your back and we're out here every single day working tirelessly. For Canyons News, I'm Jaden Johnson.